Matt Lauer spends holiday weekend watching his daughter ride at Hampton's horse farm with wife Annette, who ditches her wedding ring amidst divorce rumors. Matt Lauer and his wife did little to dispel rumors of a possible divorce on Saturday as they spent time together in the Hamptons. The pair was photographed at Brightside Farm on Saturday, the horse training and riding facility that the two opened back in 2013. They were there to watch their daughter ride on the unseasonably warm December day, with temperatures reaching 57 degrees at one point. The net, who was not wearing her wedding ring, arrived first with Matt seen entering the barn later in the day, hanging his head as he solemnly walked through the misting rain. He then left ahead of his wife and daughter, and headed back into town. It was reported earlier this week by Page Six that Annette had been seen entering the law firm Latham and Watkins in Manhattan. She is reportedly looking to end her marriage with Matt after 20 years in the wake of recent sexual misconduct allegations. It has now been almost four weeks since those allegations of misconduct cost Lauer his $25 million job at NBC as host of Today. In his absence however the show is doing better than it has all year in the ratings, and has begun steadily defeating rival Good Morning America in total viewers. It's expected that Annette will be looking to get more money if she files for divorce from the word, something she previously did in 2006 before withdrawing her complaint. The post nut will likely specify how much Annette would get if they divorce, but she is expected to challenge it given Matt's earnings since 2006, and given how he has humiliated her, said a source. There are also issues over all the property and land they own, both in the Hamptons and abroad. Last week, a young woman who began her career as an intern at Today before being promoted to a PA on the NBC morning show revealed she had a sexual relationship with Matt when she was just out of college. Addie Zena May Collins wrote in an essay for Variety that it all began when she went to lunch with Lauer in July 2000 after asking him for advice before she went off to start a new job in West Virginia, and instead found the host aggressively hitting on her. When they returned to work, he sent her a message that read, Meet me. Text exchanges show that Lauer then told Zina to head to an empty dressing room above Studio 1A so the two could have sex before he left at 3 p.m. Lauer sent the text at 2.42 p.m., just two years into his marriage with second wife Annette. The situation really took its toll on me. I changed physically. I changed emotionally. Fear crept into my life. I became unsure of myself. Any confidence I had was gone. For him. It was a conquest, wrote Zimmer, who also detailed one encounter that occurred in Lauer's office. I sat across from him, and he pushes a button from his desk and the door shuts. It was embarrassing, because his secretary was sitting outside. He wanted to do stuff. I was like, no. I'm so in over my head. I'm not a performance artist. Zeman said that the relationship came to an end at the Democratic National Convention in California that summer when Lauer told her to meet him a bathroom for one final round of sex. What happened with Matt held me hostage. I was under his spell. It was all-consuming. I couldn't focus. I couldn't concentrate. Every time I turned on the TV, because I anchored the local news in the morning, there was his face, she wrote in her essay. And he was acting all jolly and happy. And here am I, carrying the weight of what had happened and fending off the national press. I didn't want to start my career being known as one of Matt Lauer's girls. Soon after she left her media job and decided to enlist, I was in a depression. This man who I'd held on a pedestal had made me feel like my looks and my body were my true assets, explained Zeman. He made it clear that he wasn't interested in my skills or my talent. It just shattered everything. Despite all this Zeman went on to have an impressive career serving overseas and accepting a position at Access Hollywood. She said it was the power dynamic between herself and Lauer that ultimately made her feel like a victim. He knew that I was leaving, and that there was no better prey than somebody who is going to be gone, he explained Zeman. He went after the most vulnerable and the least powerful, and those were the production assistants and the interns.